This is free response question number four on the 2024 AP Pre-Calculus exam. Okay, they don't have the worked out solutions and scoring guidelines posted, but I'm going to solve them to the best of my ability. Okay, so if you were curious as to what the answers were if you took the test or if you're watching this video because you're studying for, I guess, the next administration or just studying in general, or if you're curious, welcome to this video also. Anyway, so this is the algebra question. Lots of algebra to um, be careful about. Okay, so first one says g is here, h is here. Solve g of x is equal to 10 for values of x in the domain of g. This is the easier one of the two in this part. Okay, so we want 10 to be equal to e to the x plus 3. That's g of x, which is this, is equal to 10. Okay, so we just take the natural log on both sides. So ln of 10 is equal to x plus 3. So x is ln of 10 minus 3. That's your answer. Simple part one. Part two is a little trickier because people probably get intimidated by the arc sign. So we want to solve h of x is pi over 4 for values of x to the domain of h. Okay, so we do something similar. It will be pi over 4 is equal to arc sine of x over 2. Okay? So remember the domain of arc sine is between, um, it's like in quadrant 4 and quadrant 1. So it's uh, from like negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay? So, how do we solve this? Well, we can, you can think about it as if we sign both sides, take the sign on both sides. I personally wouldn't write this, but I'm just trying to show what I'm thinking. Okay, so what is sine of pi over 4? That is root 2 over 2. This is equal to x over 2. Okay, and so x would be equal to root 2. Okay, is that the only solution? I believe it is, so this is the answer. Okay, so the domain came to hand because, well, when you take the arc sign, the result should be between, uh, as I said, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, which it was. Okay, so um, since uh, we did it like this, we got x is pi over 2. Could it be negative pi over 2? Well, if we have negative, sorry, square root 2, why am I saying pi over 2? x is square root 2. Could it be negative square root 2? Because remember, when you solve tricks, uh, equation. Sometimes the negative also works. Um, depends on the case, obviously, but uh, if it's negative root 2, the angle that the arc sine would give would be in quadrant 4, which is not pi over 4. Pi over 4 is in quadrant 1, so x equals root 2 should be the only answer. Okay, next, functions j and k are given by these. You write j as a single log without negative exponents. Um, okay, this is a very typical question. I feel like I've done this many times on the channel also. So, this is nothing new if you've seen other videos on the channel. Okay, so, j of x, I'm not going to rewrite the original problem. I'm going to write it as one log without negative exponents, okay? So, it should be 10 log 10 over expression. Okay, so, when we have log a plus log b, you multiply the two arguments. So, it'll be log base 10 of, uh, we multiply the 2, that would be 16x to the 7th. You got to be careful when we multiply 8 and 2, that's 16. But what happens when we multiply x to the 5th and x squared? You, that, you add the two exponent values. You don't multiply them. You got to be careful there. Okay, and then we have minus 9 log base 10 of x. Okay, so before we combine again, this constant out in front, we can move back as an exponent. So it'll be log base 10 of 16 x to the 7. I didn't touch the first one. Minus, whoops, minus log base 10 of x to the 9th. Okay, you technically can move it to as x to the negative 9. That's probably right why they said without negative exponents, but you can do it like this. First, 
And then when you have log a minus log b, that's log of a over b. So it'll be log base 10 of 16x to the 7th over x to the 9th. Okay? Now we keep simplifying because um, up here it says you should simplify if I remember correctly. So this is log base 10 of, so 16 that we leave alone. This is x to the 7th over x to the 9th. You subtract the two powers, so that's x to the negative 2, so 16 over x squared. And this is your final answer, log base 10 of 16 over x squared. As simple as that. Okay. If you've done a lot of these, these are a piece of cake, honestly. Okay, next. You write k as a single term involving tangent. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so k of x. First of all, I see that... Okay, so a single term involving tangent. Okay, so first of all, I see that 1 minus sine squared, I can write that as cosine squared because of the Pythagorean identity over sine x, okay? And then secant, I can write as 1 over cosine x, okay? So, what happens now? Well, one power of cosine can cancel from the top, so I get cosine x over sine x, okay? This is cotangent x, or if you remember, cotangent is 1 over tangent x, and that's your answer, as simple as that. Okay, nothing tricky about that. All right, part three, or part C, the function m is given by m of x is arc cosine of tangent 2x. Find all values in the domain of m that yield an output value of zero. Okay, so this is probably the hard one of this problem. Okay, so let me shift this up. Okay. So we want 0 is equal to arc cosine of tangent 2x, okay? So let's do the same technique as before. If we do cosine on both sides, it'll be tangent of 2x is here. So 1 is equal to tangent of 2x. Okay, so when is tangent of 2x equal to 1? Well, let's here, let's let u be 2x. Okay, so then it'll be 1 is equal to tangent of u. When does that happen? u is equal to um, pi over 4 is for sure 1. Okay, and then 5 pi over 4 is another 1 for sure. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, let me, let me write it like this. u is equal to pi over 4 plus 2 pi k, where k is an integer. And u, or u is equal to 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. Okay, so remember u is 2x. So it'll be 2x, I'm going to rewrite it, is pi over 4 plus 2 pi k, and 2x is 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. Okay, by the way, how did I get pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4? Well, I know that tangent is 1 in quadrants uh, 1 and 3, because tangent would be negative in these two quadrants. So it has to be a 1 and 3, first of all. And this is the easy one, when it's pi over 4, tangent is 1, because sine over cosine Sine and cosine are the same. So divide the same value. Uh, the same value divide. Uh, some value divided by the same value is 1. So uh, it'll be pi over 4. And what's the 1 over here? The reference angle is pi over 4. So it'll be pi plus pi over 4, which is uh, 5 pi over 4. Okay? So uh, that's how I got these two. And then I was over here. So we divide by 2. x is pi over 8 plus pi k. And x is, or actually, right, or is. Uh, 5 pi over 8 plus pi k. Uh, k is an integer. And that's my answer. And actually, now that I think about it a little more, I could have just wrote... Um, so, okay, let me draw another page. 
this might not be the best answer, so they might subtract me points now that I realized it real quick as I was about to close the video. <laughs> so let's go back to here. Tangent u is 1, so we were saying pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Well, I could have just wrote um, u as pi over 4 plus pi k, where k is an integer. Okay? Because plus pi would be here, plus another pi would be here, or minus pi would be here, and stuff like that. Okay? So this is sufficient. And then let's back substitute u as 2x pi over 4 plus pi k, x would be pi over 8 plus pi over 2k then as a result. That should write k is an integer also. I'm going to squeeze that in there, okay? So this is a better answer actually, because this is just kind of repetitive actually. So. Abandon that, this is my better answer. This is my final answer now. Hey, I did solve this in 11 minutes, so good thing I caught it. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful if you were a test taker and you were curious as to what this answer was. Um, if you haven't got a chance already, please look at the other videos of me solving the other AP pre-calculus free response questions on my channel if you're interested. Hopefully I see you in those videos. Bye.